Welcome back everyone to Red World Fan Fork mod for Hoi 4. So right now, as you can see, we are currently in Brest in France, and I've already naval invaded, and, well, we've been struggling a little bit with convoys right now. Uh, we lost quite a few guys just because I accidentally forgot to put some ships guarding convoys coming from America. So we lost quite a few guys. Actually, I've joined the Noble League, which was a league or a faction set up by the PRC, who is just dominating the Soviets right now, as well as uh, the Japanese, so which is... It's a very weird alliance when the PRC and the Japanese ally themselves. And so, yeah, here we are. Got a couple of comments to do so. Uh, someone said, when we go to war, the Warsaw Pact, we should invade Cuba. We could, but we have already got a war. The Cubans actually like us for some reason. But they're completely communist un under Raul Castro, but they're kind of like, meh, whatever. So, I've just been sitting here, just kind of defending, waiting for things to happen. I've been slowly justifying on Sweden because, well, they're basically communist too. Who cares? i uh, got other things to uh, other comments to go through as well, but let's make sure we don't lose any battles. That wouldn't be very good. And for some reason, like, we're winning the air war now. Earlier, I was not. As you can see, they got a, a buttload of planes, but their planes don't seem that great. They've been losing a lot, I and mean, we've been losing a lot of planes too, don't get me wrong. We lost a lot of planes. But, you know, with the PRC doing its job against the Soviets, I figured, you know what, we can ally them for now. In time, um, they're all going to die anyway, so I'll, I'll probably kill off China too. But look at this. We've already sunk. Well, I can't even... Numbers, numbers. What do the numbers mean? Um, 28 plus 8 is usually 36. 36 plus 66? That's over 100. That's 108 or something? Let's see, what is this? Penalty? Too many carrier ships limit to 80% of the... Oh, there they go. Look at that. Look at all the subs we sunk. Because that's all the AI is building, just subs. Sinking all my crap, so... Ugh. So I've been trying to build up more and more and more and more, more fleets. More subs. And I have one set of uh, ships over here. These are all subbies guarding the west coast while all the other stuff are just kind of like all over the place here so it is what it is and i broke up some of my task forces just so they could have more reach around everywhere and i need to go level seven that's not bad yeah not bad not bad i would like fleet protector but eh he already has a max number of traits uh charles w ray though oh yeah i just see what i've been waiting for him to get see what he was like 99 percent for a few years now uh torpedo screen penetration re torpedo reveal chance well, I like penetration, but we'll go with that one when we can. Other than that, a couple of comments to go through as well. Let's see. We're basically now the United Corporation of States of America. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we love corporations. We love them. They never have done anything bad for us. Never, ever. Oh, we beat these guys up too, huh? I don't remember that, but okay. If we can just go right ahead, that'd be great. I've lost a few divisions while in the water as well, so. As you can tell from the 400, 500,000 men we've already lost, pieces of garbage. Uh, this type of communism got to be destroyed. It's weird when America, Japan, and the PRC are allied together, beating up the Soviet Union. For some reason, we still have green air, right? So, oh, it's kind of yellow air, so. Not great. And we are running out of, we already out of fighters. God dang it. Fighters and cast fighters, huh? Well, it seems like we're going to build more planes up then. Alright, so cast fighters? Oh, that's definitely not enough. Fighters? Yeah, it's definitely not enough. Let's, let's build a lot more military factories. I mean, I want to build some more ports and such, so... That's important too, but still. I mean, just the amount of damage that's going on. That's just insane. Hopefully the Soviet Union will collapse eventually, so. You guys are still trying to beat us up. And we got another division that I'm probably going to throw into the water. Oh, oh my gosh, I've lost so many divisions here. Yeah, good luck guys, you're going to need it. We're fighting the entire Warsaw Pact, so. But hey, we opened up the second front. Look how many plans we got. Over 7,000, that's absolutely ridiculous. Not losing yet. They're actually still sort of winning here. Nantes? Uh, guys, you might want to help out here. There you go. And we have some nukes we could deploy, but I'm not interested in that for now. Just blow up all the enemy ships. Oh, yeah, they have some ships there, too. Anything around here? Not really. Just a lot of convoys. If that's the case, what I should really do is this. Don't come through these regions. Do not come through here. Go through the north, because it's actually a lot safer up north. Yeah, just go through these regions here. So, uh, yeah, that one's okay. Because I do have all these regions, like, on lockdown, basically. Or just supposedly, so. Wow. Oh, we're, we're definitely flooding through here. Now, I've also put a lot of my soldiers. Where are you guys at? You're in Scotland, which is fine. Come on down here, help kill these guys off. So, having a second front really does help out. For some reason, we're still winning against these guys, which I'm okay with. You know, I'm totally okay with that. They've lost 43 million in total, which is quite a few dudes. So, uh, other comments. Someone said we have a total of 23 carriers in real life in America. Well, 
according to my own spectacular, it's totally scientific and reasonable and factual uh, analysis by me. Um, 23 carriers is not enough. We need one carrier per state rule, I would say. So, that being said, we need more carriers. We definitely need more carriers in America. So, one per state, we should have at least 50 carriers, if not half a carrier for every territory or island that the U.S. owns. That's how we know we have enough, we have enough carriers in real life. Totally factual. Totally factual. We don't, you don't need to fact check that. I know I'm 100% correct. <laughs> uh, man, you guys are looking really weak. Then again, they don't get the convoy supplies, so... More subs? Well, you know what we do to enemy subs? We make them implode. Not explode, but implode underwater if we can. Uh, I don't think the French state can really hold this up. The Dutch definitely... Oh, the Germans can't. Let's see. Befriend West Africa? Look at how many ships they still have. Pretty good amount of manpower. Divisions are not bad, but they don't have... It's just mostly just infantry, which is fine with me. Blowing everything else up they have. They found 9,000 guys here in total, which is not good. Now we're really blowing up a lot of the ships, which is nice. Alright, what else we got down here? There you go. And there you go. Wait, we're not doing the North Sea? We gotta do the North Sea as well. Yeah, we're losing quite a few planes here, which is not good, so let's stop attacking like crazy. Solidify our hold. And you guys are uh, down there. Kind of hanging out, that's fine. Have a good time. Um, yeah, you, so it's both of you guys right here, so I'll actually separate you guys off, and just go under him for now, it's fine, let's see if we can do something like this, fill out the line, stop attacking, have a good time, hold, 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 all others, reform your lines, get ready to go, we need as many soldiers here as possible with as much supply as well. Nice, sinking all them subbies. Nice. Uh, in the meantime, we could probably actually attack this group and do probably do okay-ish. That'd be good. Crush them. Crush every single one of them. We've lost way too many Americans for these people to live in peace anymore. Not bad, not bad. How is the deficit looking? Not great. <laughs> but it's not as bad as I thought it would be, so. Um, anywhere else we can spare more factories, maybe? There you go. We already have enough of that. Let's see. Fighters are going to be maxed out, hopefully, very soon. And them being on two front wars is not good for them, which is good for us. Nope. Do not come to the Mediterranean. It's not a good place to be. Even though we technically do own Cyprus, so. Alright, not bad. Beat them up. Go, China, go. Something I don't think I would have ever said before, but whatever. Uh, do we have any carrier bombers here? Fighters, cast fighters. Um, we have naval bombers, so let's use those guys. There you go. Come down here, bomb the living crap out of them. There you go. Have all of our soldiers made it? Uh, they're about to, actually. Some of you guys are taking some sweet booty time, but that's alright. That's okay. They're still attacking us up here. And that actually pushes out, huh? Yeah, I don't think so, son. I really don't think so. Get out, you pieces of garbage. Now we don't have superiority just because they have so many planes in Northwest Germany. Then again, we've just been waiting the entire time to invade Europe, which really sucks, but you know, whatever. Oh, look, subs go bye-bye, subs go bye-bye, and then you know what? Subs also go bye-bye. It helps if you have radar here, too. Alright, up next. Even more radar, more radar, so we have better range and idea of what's going on around here. Really helpful. More military factories, please! Oh, nice. And after that, we shall choose something else. So, yeah, we, we are the United Corporation of States of America, so we're pretty much done with this. Um, yeah, cast fighter. Go Nationalist next time? Yeah, I probably will go Nationalist when I play as American Republic again. I'm not sure when I will, but I'm pretty sure I will probably play as a Nationalist when I play this specific nation, so. Is it possible that we could try and attack? Attacking over the river is not a good idea. Paris is uh, getting pretty close to Paris, actually. That's not bad. I'd like to push out this way, but we don't have a lot of strength right here. Uh, 
That could do pretty darn well for us, maybe? Maybe not? I mean, it doesn't look like the airplanes are that good, but they have so many of them, that doesn't probably really matter too much. Yeah, we actually won. So if we push hard enough, we can probably win against these guys. Get our guys on the line. Anything else? Close, 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 close. It doesn't matter, just do all this stuff. We have enough political power. Let's see, anything else around here? Not really, not that I really care about. Alright, so with everyone here, I'm going to go ahead and form... Um, hmm. I'm going to attack here. Concentrate the tanks into one location. That should be pretty good. Probably should research better tanks too, but whatever. Oh. Good luck attacking me. But the PRC just flooding into the Soviet Union. They're past the Urals now, so it, it, it's just a matter of time until the PRC wins, which is really weird to say, but whatever. Go in. Go into here, and then half you guys go straight march into Paris. Good luck. You're going to need it. You should be able to win fairly handedly by doing this. You guys go in too. Throw them in. Throw them in. There's no stopping this. Meredith, you got to go, 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 General. If that's the case, you counterattack immediately. Get all the planes in the air. All planes are online. And good god, it's a mess. Well, the commies had this coming. So, and we're actually defending over river, which is pretty nice. We're greatly weakening some of their divisions. Wow. We need every single plane in the air right now. Go, 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 go. We need that radar station too. Oh, we actually broke over the river. Wow. That's not bad. Uh, this is going to be a very costly war, but in the end, it should better all be worth it. Casualties, they're just being racked up on both sides. Which is fine. Fine with us. So be it. Actually, how's their deficit of planes? Uh, it's slowly getting better, actually. Eh, maybe enough for cast fighters, that's alright. Are, are we done building things? No, I don't think so, man. I definitely don't think so. More military factories, we need more fighters, more casts. Because war against the PRC, that's pretty pretty bad. I don't know if I really actually want to take those guys out. Seeing as that, that's so much extra stuff that you got to do. I don't know about that one. Anything else here? No? Okay. Uh, nuclear Mexico? Or no, nuclear Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Hurricanes hit? No worries, right? Okay. Oh, I still have this too, so. Uh, there you go. Not bad. Oh, do I? Mm, we don't have nuclear air superiority, so. Please don't just don't get in circle, man. Come on, Paris has got to fall. Go in there right now. By putting this much pressure on the lines, the Soviet Union's got to collapse. They're still attacking up north, which is fine. Come on, come on, come on. You should not lose these battles. Are you kidding me? We can use World War II planes, basically, and still do okay. Man, I need to use nukes. We don't have their superiority, which really sucks. I would love to see... How, how strong are these guys? They can't be that strong anymore, with the PRC doing a lot of damage. Oof. They're running out of manpower, hopefully. They're still attacking up here. We got 2 million manpower. The Soviet Union. I'm sorry, man, but... Well, watch out. We got five Paraguay now. I don't know, man. That seems pretty tough. Paraguayans? Paraguayans? How are we able to attack everything and be successful except for here? Makes no sense. Fighters looking better. Only minus 200. We got that part. That's good. Come on, why don't I have enough command power for this? Go right there and attack this way. Take Paris. Look how weak these guys are. Come on, man. More divisions, more tanks, yes please. Because we did lose a few tank divisions too on the way over here. Come on, just take Paris. So how's the PRC doing over here? Do they... We can't really tell how many planes they have. It's definitely a mixed bag for us around here, though. 
uh, for you guys. English Channel, North Sea. I'm redirecting you guys down here. Even more planes down here. We're shooting down, and we're getting shot down so much. How are we able to push into here? Yeah, we can't take flipping Paris. I mean, we're, I mean, this is very costly, but we're still, like, succeeding, so. 13 Division's gonna die. Paris is slowly buckling. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, just get down there. Cut Paris off. Screw the Parisians. Oh, we almost have it. We got it. Good. That's all I wanted. And we've got quite a line now. I guess we could probably stop attacking then. Let's go ahead and reform our borders here. We'll do okay. We've got Paris under wraps. Woo! Democratic Republic of Afghanistan, huh? Nice. And now they're going to attack us like crazy. Fine with me. Go die. I'm going to go to war with these guys too. That's probably not a good idea to piss them off. Just yeah, I don't know. We don't have to go to war with them. Are you guys doing nothing? Like, what's going on? Oh, you're trapped in there. Ah, that makes sense. They're actually trapped. Oh, should we have enough repair? repair? Wow. Uh, 47 million are dead. That's good. Alright, so we gave the tank some time to recover. Uh, a good push in southern France might do really well for us. Then again, I probably want to circle and destroy Dunkirk. If we get more supplies in, we can circle and destroy them. Not a bad idea. And without us attacking as much, we can definitely get, hopefully get some more planes. Because cast fighters definitely need a lot more planes too. Could be a fair trade if we give the PRC Moscow. Even though I would love to burn Moscow, and, and that's in the video video description that, that was my intent to do so. We don't necessarily have to, as long as we burn everything else down to the ground, right? They love attacking. They absolutely love attacking. Go and build some more crown crews down here too. Nice. Well, they definitely attack, well, until they all die, I guess. I mean, Germany. They're going to be running out of guns before they run out of men. I guess that's probably the main thing here. Yeah, they don't have a lot of. They almost have nothing left. Wow. Well, that's the case. Well, you guys actually might be able to attack once you have enough organization, of course. Of course. Mm. Six subs. Keep bombing them. That's why I haven't taken over the place yet. Just bomb them while they're there. Nice. This guy is a sea wolf, which is really nice. Level skill four. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Head on in if you can. Not bad, not bad. I mean, they can't break our lines, which is good for us. Actually, how's there a thing going here for cryptology? Eh, might as well, right? Oh, there's Spymaster. Oh, actually, can I uh, take over faction? We and our subjects need effective 6.32 million in deployed manpower, but only 3.55. Okay. It's possible. Oh, watch out. The mighty power that is the Democratic People's Republic of Afghanistan has fallen. Oh, don't say it so. Got some of this, that'd be nice. And we got this stuff, which is very good. How about some rocketry? Integrated convoy defense, well we're done with the naval stuff. 
But not really, since we're going to come over here and I give our battleships some more attack, which doesn't even matter since we don't even have battleships. I'm not sure why I'm researching that. Because we can. And that's usually what it devolves into. Because we can. I mean, how many men are they going to throw away? The answer, of course, is a lot. I mean, the PRC, they're slowly moving inwards, too, so... I don't know, guys. You might want to stop and fight off the Chinese. Of course, when I do play the, uh, the Nationalists, I probably will take out the Soviet Union for realsies by myself, as well as China. Or do both at the same time. I can also do that, too. Can they pierce us? No, but we're getting attacked on multiple fronts. Like, they're literally, literally attacking to, like, almost, like, 1% strength. That's a wee bit ridiculous. Nice. Anything else I can do here? Not really, no. Uh, France. We have Poland. So, have I really not done France yet? No, we're still, they're still work, we're still working on it. It's almost done, though. Convoys sunk, convoys sunk, convoys, convoys, convoys. Destroyer? Not bad. Six more ships. A lot of our guys are repairing. Where are you? Why are you taking so long to repair? I have more than enough dockyards for everybody here. I've literally put 40 on, so it doesn't make any sense why you take so long. Not bad if you can. I'm mean, look at how look how strong they are. They're not. <laughs> Lille must be ours. I'll supply here too. Let's get some more supply going through here. More supply. Please, thank you. Come again. Oh, we actually sunk down a sub. Not too bad. Oh, it took Leo. Finally. Thank goodness. Well, pal, as long as they can't pierce us, we can probably do a pretty okay job. Still, losing a lot of planes all over the place. But fighters, we're actually positive on fighters now. But cast fighters mean definitely more. But cast fighters, they just mean cast. So, we need way more aluminum. I don't know if we can actually make any more since we're kind of out of space here in, in North America. Which kind of sucks. But hey, you know what? I'm glad we have new America called Britain. Okay, it won't let me build things. What the heck, game? Loads more aluminum, please. Thank you. Nice. Did we actually... Oh, we broke over there. Dunkirk. Oh, they still have... Oh, you know what? That's okay, then. Let our guys sink all the, all the ships. But not really. Just go and kill them off. I'm pretty sure I right-clicked on you guys. Come on. Come on. Don't be afraid. They're just people in Dunkirk. Just kill them off. Oh, look at that. Drain them of their strength. Oh, yeah. Literally just killing them. They're not even skipping into the water, which is fine with me. All right, not bad. Did they actually push us back a little bit? Maybe they did. I can't tell. Hmm. I want a center push with the tanks right here. What's in our tank divisions, too? Well, that's not bad. Oh, we do have anti-air, which is actually a really smart thing to throw in Red World, just because of the amount of industry everyone has. That's... That's probably a pretty smart thing to do. Now we'll probably lose at least a million in this war. They've lost the enemies have lost fifty million. At fifty million losses. I mean you'd probably just send out nukes at this point. And we're still fighting in Denmark, of course, because why not? No upgrades though. Really kinda of disappointing. Not gonna lie, it's a little disappointing that we don't have enough of this yet. Hmm. Well, are we down there? Oh Morocco's doing nice. Three, two, one. We're going in. Everyone on the front line, you gotta crush, crush, crush them. Oh yeah. Oh, are we out of guns? Oh, we're hitting the threshold again of having too many guns. We're gonna delete a lot of our guns, just because I don't want to go over that mod that number there. There you go. We got more than enough now. Republic, switch, uh, Soviet Union still down there. Not bad. Hey, a lot of green. I like it. This might as well be the beginning of the end for these guys too, so. 
We have ab absolutely do not have air superiority because they've been shooting down a lot of planes, but we've been shooting down a lot of their planes too, so. And they just, I'm sure they're out of equipment at this point. There's nothing they can do. Befriend Ethiopia? Yeah, look at all that. They have some anti-air, of course. They got some artillery. Uh, no, it's not that bad. Infantry equipment is just gone. Uh, Poland's looking not too bad, though. They got plenty of that stuff. Really manpower under Juan Carlos I. Uh, got quite a few guys there, too. Alright, looks like France is doing a great job for us. Thank you, France, for killing off your own divisions. If I could get these guys done faster, that'd be great. Five days, huh? They, well, they might sur not survive for the next five days, so... 18 cast is not bad to have. Get some better artillery. All right, a couple more of that. There you go. Well, can't make any more, so might as well just buy some from not Italy. Um, not really too many places we can buy stuff from, huh? Thailand, Indian Union. Maybe we could try that. Good. Keep going. Cut off Bordeaux, the Bordeaux soldiers. Oh, there we go. Let's actually go and use that too. More dockyards? Uh, more cruiser holes, I guess. It's fine with me. Um, now, obviously, we still have... Oh, there goes the French state. Oh, we got all their stuff. We could remove corporate taxes. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead, but I'm not going to do it. I mean, yeah, it's more factory output, but I don't want to... Eh, screw it, I'll do it anyways. Taxes on corporations destroy the ability for small businesses to spring up and challenge the mainstream, along with destroying even large corporations who require deregulation and opportunity to truly pursue innovation. Fortunately, these troublesome taxes will soon be abolished so that corporate America can truly breathe. I love corporate... Well, I won't say I love corporations. Oh, I forgot to do this stuff too. Befriend Canada. Befriend Iran. Approach Britain and befriend Turkey. Well, they don't have many good descriptions, so I'm going to not bother with that for now. Germany, you're next. There goes Belgium. Thanks for all your equipment, you pieces of garbage. But hey, maybe go visit Taki Senpai. Good, good, good. Okay, my divisions are stuck here. Good, good, good. Kill them off. Are they abandoning the... Oh, that's a big bad mistake for those guys. Go straight on in. Nice. They lost 52 million. Well, France capitulated faster than uh, Soviet Union, which is uh, maybe a little surprising, but maybe not. You do not let them come in. You actually have to start attacking them now, because we're swinging from the north now. And without all those extra... Pl oh, we have green air here, too. Look at that. Nice. Put the green air, green air. Gotta get it. Oh, wow. They have the French Navy here, sort of here. Good. Germans definitely should have realized that. European Union, not as good as the American Union. Netherlands is next. Nice. So we got rid of those squelchers, we'll say. Get involved up here. And go, 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 go when you can. We're doing a pretty good job against the Germans. I've only roughly lost 10 million people. All right, PRC, we're going to... You're, you're barely not even moving in at this point. They're just barely not even moving in. Stalingrad's still down there. Just a gigantic... Oh, watch out. Oh, they give us a lot of guns. PNP-90s. FNP-90s, I mean. FN 2000s? Wow. Not bad. 
How's our planes doing? Pretty good for fighters, actually. Pretty darn good, I'd say, actually. Cruiser, heavy, and light attack? Why not? Oh, more convoys, Jesus. I don't know if I can really support that many more convoys. Or that many more uh, ships. 25 more ships, not bad. Ah, the Dutch are gone. Hey, thank you for the FN scars. Understood. Oh, Germany, Germany, Germany. We've lost not even a million. Well, roughly a million. Oh, we're definitely smashing to the north here. If that's okay, let's go and do this too. Um, really, I should have put you in under separate general, actually. Except for Field Marshal, I should really say. Come on in, come on in, have a good time. With the Dutch gone, now we have way better air capabilities over here. I wonder if I can nuke their air bases. Oh, I can't nuke? Oh, man. We need just more, you know. Do it, nuke it. Ling by, Lingen. Goodbye, Lingen. So disappointing. Munich. Definitely can't nuke Berlin yet. Talmanshafen? I prefer Wilhelmshafen, but that's just me, probably. Uh, where else can we nuke? I mean, Berlin is just... It's, it's pretty normal to nuke Berlin. Nothing too special over there. Lost about a million now. Modern ballistics, not bad. Uh, uh, better logistics, yeah. Actually, that would be probably pretty good because we have so many guys over here. Oh, good, overrun them. You cannot stop the American army. And after this, we'll march straight into Poland. At this point, we might just arrive in Moscow but faster than the Chinese. They can have half the Soviet Union and everything past the Urals or maybe even Japan. Let them... Oh, deal with it. Look at that. Now this is beautiful. Nice. Oh, Berlin. Berlin. Let's get our guys on the line. It'll be good to go. Come on. Can I do Vienna? Probably not. Oh, Congress abolishes corporate taxes. Without the explicit support of President Duke, the new Congress proceeded to move forward with its plans for the abolition of corporate taxes against the wishes of many worker unions. This morning, as the bill was put to a vote, Duke was essentially forced to support it, with no failure in staff with the congressman's approval. Interesting. That's all I can say is about removing that stuff. It's just interesting. <laughs> corporate taxes are gone. Oh, boy. All right, now we're big, one big old happy family again. So let's come over to here and let's do this. And slog our way a little into Russia. Uh, don't do, don't go crazy with that. Just go do this, and now go, because Germany's basically done and dusted with. There won't even be a point to nuke it anymore. And there goes Germany. Thank you for your HK G11s and 2010 air anti-air stuff. Beat him up, 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 pop, 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 pop. Oh my goodness, even more dockyards, huh? Go, 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 go. Um, Soviet Union's done. Oh, you guys too, I suppose, why not? Dockyards? Could use more cruisers. There you go. How are our shippies looking? Uh, pretty good, I'd say. Not sinking too much, I suppose. That's alright. Combat unit destruction? Surprised we only have 155 air XP, but maybe we shot down enough planes that it doesn't matter too much anymore, maybe? No, we're still suffering. Now we're doing quite a bit better. Oof. Kill them all, come on. 
Kill them off. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Good. Ah, more divisions don't matter. We do. We could really use them. Seriously, we're basically already in Eastern Europe, and these guys are barely in Eastern Europe. All right. Oh, well, whatever. If someone like to take this little dirt patch out, that'd be kind of nice. Thank you. Come again. Oh, let me nuke Prague, please. Oh, we've marched. We've begun to march into uh, Poland, which is nice. At this point, I uh, just use that because we have it. And Poland, your turn. Czechoslovakia is slowly going. I'll save the Soviet Union one for a little later. Come on, guys, let's keep moving. Keep moving. Get in there. Poland, I mean, maybe they didn't help out anyone else, but they only have 35 divisions. That's not very much at all. Holy cow. Uh, Czechoslovakia is up to 24. Hungary has the same amount as Czechoslovakia. So, I'm not sure if they can really hold out against us. They have a little bit of infantry commit. The uh, Czechs have more. Uh, these guys have a little bit, which looks like they got really good guns, but really, really cool looking guns at least. Alright, let's keep going guys, keep moving on. Good, good, good. Prague is a frontline city, but I don't want to nuke it since we don't have air superiority yet. I didn't think I left my nukes. My nukers? Oh wow, look at those, northern France. Um, there we go. One, two, three, four. Ah, yep, I left them over here. Not bad. Come on, hang out. Alright, other than that... Oh, wait, are you guys nukers? Twin engine fighters? Uh, uh, I don't really care. Goodbye, Czechoslovakia! Or, no, that's our Czechoslovakia, yeah. English channel, channel... Oh, that's not bad. I can keep some there. That's fine. Who are you guys over here, though? It's fine with me. Fine with me. How are the tanks doing up here? They're doing a pretty good job, I'd say. Of running enemies? I love it. I'm, I'm quite surprised with that. No one else has upgrades. Yeah, it's a lot of fighting. It's a little, pretty laggy, honestly. It's 20, 20, 2022. Come on, get rid of them poles. We've lost over a million. The poles need to go. Wow, they have a look at all the air bases they have. I just realized that. Holy cow. Vladimir Putin, your time has come. 142 million. Jesus, that's why I don't want to take out China. I mean, yeah, these guys have up to 20 million, but 142 million? They're gonna lose their stockpiles faster than anybody else. Yeah. Then, oh my goodness. Our Putin stockpiles, not looking great. Not bad, though, but once we show up on the Russian border, they're pretty much screwed. Yeah, our allies are really stupid. I don't understand what our soldiers are doing, though, right now, seeing as they're not moving down south to help support the area over there, but whatever. Warsaw, I don't imagine... I can't imagine how they do not... How we don't have green air yet. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of planes and such, but still. Still. Still, still. I hate the lag. That's why I'm fighting to remove it. Let's go build, like, roads. If you get shot while building up the roads, um, you sign a contract, remember all workers, saying that if you get shot, that's not our problem. We own your body, so just, just don't think about it. And, uh, yeah. Or I'll see you not on the battlefield. I've been working on the railroad all the doodon day. Has Vespalia. Oh, you've broken up the Dutch people over here. Alright. We need some of this. We could use some, probably some more air bases, actually. I could probably help out. Oh, Kaliningrad. Oh, yes, yes. We're approaching. Ah, Poland is gone. Good. I got more. Wow. More military factories to use, too. Wow. We need way more rubber, though. No, I can use some of the steel. That's fine. Um, rubble, 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 rubble. Thank you. And Thailand, no, we're good. Brazil. We love Brazil.
And, oh, we do have more. Oh, we do have more. That's fine. Just build some more of this. There you go. Thank you. And go, go, go. Oh, wow. We have way too many divisions up here, too. At this point, I can't really be bothered too much, so. How much manpower do we have deployed compared to what we need? That was Japan, actually. Become faction leader. Oh, but from Canada. That's nice. Send attache. Um, sure, why not? Got more war support for it, so that's pretty good. 4.45? Well, so be it. And now it's time to fight against the little commies. C'est la vie. At this point, I want my tanks to come up to the middle high region of the front. No, God, yeah, I hate Hoi how badly Hoi 4 lags. The engine needs to be updated, seriously. Oof. I want you to focus on this air so we can rush through here. Seriously, uh, my goal is to get to Moscow before the Chinese do. Which looks like we might be able to do since the Chinese are definitely not doing super bueno anymore. There you go, do that. Now we should have air superiority. Ooh, in Hungary, maybe. Bratislava. Oh my goodness. Nuke it! Nuke Vienna! Goodbye, Vienna! Goodbye. A beautiful city ravaged by communism. Can't nuke Kiev yet. Kiev. Kiev. I forget how to pronounce that. More divisions. Go, 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 go. Riga? No, not yet. So we have Vienna, right? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, we do. That's nice. Oh, Budapest. I'd love to nuke 7 million people. Oh, another tank. Yeah, why not? Yeah, at this point, it's just the lag that's really defeating us. No one else. Can they pierce us? No, but we can pierce them. What is that? Look at that. Broken enemy ciphers. Ah, that makes sense. Nice. I think I need to upgrade my tanks. Hmm. Northern Balkans, anybody? Yes, please. Yes, yes. Can use more command power, too. Oh, we can probably get rid of that, then. Good. Anywhere else? Not really, no. I mean, yeah, we could do that area. We could do this area, too, I suppose. Quite a bloody conflict, I would say. But if it wasn't bloody, why would we want to do it, then? Ah, part of the Polish Navy's there. Fighters are looking really, really good. China's so disappointing. They are incredibly disappointing. The Noble League attacking Russia and her allies on two fronts. What could be better than this? Oh yeah, I'm fighting over here too. Ah, the Dutch thought they could escape. No, 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 no. Hmm. I will say the tanks are doing a very good job, including some of the infantry divisions, too. Let's get up to north. Can you take uh, Leningrad? That'd be great. Please. Thank you. Come again. Hmm. A lot of nukes. Not a lot of opportunities to send them over, though. Not bad. Keep going, guys. You're doing a good job. Beat them up. Beat them up. You know, the way we normally do it in America. Why don't you go straight for Moscow? I can't imagine the Soviets holding on for that much longer. Oh, artillery, nice. They're halfway dead. They've lost 30 million men. And I've yet to see them use a nuke, so. Thank you. Oh, these guys are beaten up. That's good. Only 1,700 factories, is that all? Please, let me just nuke Bucharest. Please, I just want to drop a nuke. 
More nukes for the people. Uh, still can't drop a nuke. God dang it. Oh, there goes a tank. We're, we're literally tanking our way to Moscow. Go, go, go. Can't ca catch us now, coppers. Nice. Uh, let's see. I should probably get some better tanks. <laughs> there we go. Uh, sure, why not? Why not like the Pokemon? Alright, are we there yet? Smonsk? Smonsk? Nice. I suppose I could take you and you guys come here and take this part of Estonia or Latvia or and that group. Alright, not bad. Leningrad has fallen. Oh, come on, why are you taking so long? After that, get to Stalingrad. Maybe we can link up with the Chinese. Have uh, we cut off the remaining? We have still yet. Did I cut these guys off? Come on. Ah, there goes Hungary. Very good. Come on, let me just nuke them. The pride and joy of the American army and air force is to nuke our enemies. Oh, this is causing so much trouble here. I should send my motorized in to do this actually instead. It's all right though. Good God, this is getting ugly. The fence like, is that an American tank over there? PRC is so disappointing. Oof. Then again, I guess you could say about the same thing in real life, too. Not sponsored by the PRC. Because I don't want to disappear yet. Maybe someday. But not yet. <laughs> Our guys are just going for it, though. They're just heading straight up there. Can you just imagine you're that one tank, and you're just literally tanking onto Moscow. The friend, Iran? Uh, I don't know about real life, but, you know. We took Moscow. We literally tanked into Moscow. You can actually nuke anywhere here? There should be a button to tell you that where you can actually nuke. That'd be kind of nice. I can nuke over here. I'm gonna nuke actually their air bases just so that they can't use them. Orel. Oh, they're so close to capitulation. Yeah, the Chinese are very disappointed in this campaign. They were doing so well for so quite a while, but they just got attack and attack and attack and well, they didn't do a great job with it, and they deserve to lose a lot of territory that they could have had. Had they decided to do something about it. Wow. I hate to be Vladimir Putin right now, but hey, he's 96% of the way there. 97. Watch out, they broke your ciphers. That's a victory. That's going to be the thing that wins them the war, right? Ninety-eight. Let's get going. Let's go. Beat him up, beat him up. Oh, we have to fight the Bulgarians too. That sucks. Hopefully. Oh, we did it. And I'll do the peace deal off screen. Well, everyone, here we are at. So, like I said, I would divide the line at the Urals just because even though the Chinese pushed in a little bit more. I mean, honestly, it took us to go from all the way from Brittany and storm all the way, albeit a little slowly, literally tanking into Moscow. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what they wanted me to do, but... We're still in the faction, but I think I'm down here with the faction. I gave China a lot of territory, as you can see. And I gave Japan a little bit as well, so thank you, Japan, for your time. Uh, I can't take over the faction yet, which really sucks, but okay, bye-bye. Uh, you guys, now they're left by themselves, the Noble League, and which, well, we're just kind of hanging out here in America. But I think that would pretty much be the campaign. If we were to continue this, I'd probably, if I had, you know, the patience to do so, take out the rest of Europe, take out all of Africa, maybe even South Africa, or South America, I should really say. But regardless... It's not looking too bad. I could release puppets and such, but... Uh, what puppets can we release? Anything interesting? We have uh, corporations, of course. Technically, we didn't even finish our uh, focus tree either, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I guess that's pretty much going to be it then. I'll see if we can release Israel, just because, you know, why not? But regardless, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you are new. 
check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow uh, in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.